Hey everyone, so I haven't posted in about two weeks now. Um, I had some personal matters to take care of, but I wanted to go ahead and make another video for you guys. Um, I have to do this video first because just thinking about it is giving me chills. Um, unfortunately, I did have to leave Florida. But upon realizing that I was going to have to, I went and crossed off some of the bigger items on my bucket list for this trip. One of which was going to New Orleans, or as everyone says, New Orleans. So one of the things I wanted to do there was go see a psychic. Because when you think about the city, you think about the jazz, and everyone's always talking about like voodoo and everything. So it's like, how can I get um, those two things? And I thought about going to see a psychic. So the original person that I did want to go see, she's very famous, actually worldwide, one of the best in her field, apparently. Um... She was booked weeks, weeks in advance, so I didn't get to go to her, but I did find one um, on the street. So, me personally, a psychic, I don't um, really believe in that stuff at all anyway. I find it very interesting and very intriguing. But I personally do not believe so whether it was a professional or a street, I, I, I didn't really care. The way I saw it was, hey, I get to save money then. But um, I gotta say, she definitely really freaking creeped me out. So I just go up to her and I asked for a palm reading. And what she did is she had me hold my palms out like this and put them out on the table. And she started to look at my right hand first, and she noticed a couple lines that go straight across. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. These lines right here that go straight across. And she told me that that basically is a very good sign that despite this star shape right here, I kind of marked it for you guys. It's That's just marker, but she said that right there signifies that in my teen years, um, I had a really rough time, and I definitely agree with that. Um, high school, definitely some of the worst years of my life, but I'm here thinking like, okay, Keep in mind, I don't believe in this stuff at all. So I'm thinking, okay, psychics, they just say general stuff, like lucky guesses, like lots of people hated high school. It's big deal, no, nothing, nothing crazy. But then she says, well, these lines that come down from that signify smooth sailing from this point forward. And she said that where it branches off, actually, she, she said that um, it seems like I met a very close friend in my life and that we have been through a lot together and that we have had each other's backs and that will always continue. That kind of creeped me out because the main reason I went on this trip to Florida was because of a close friend of mine who recently joined the Navy and he was going to school down there. Well, when he was in boot camp, um, it was actually one year of us being friends, the first time we ever hung out. So we were saying like, how are we going to celebrate um, down in Florida? Do we go to the beach? Do we go to a theme park? Like, what do we do? We wanted to do something big to kind of celebrate. Um, because, like she said, we have been through a lot together and we have had each other's backs on a lot of things. So that kind of creeped me out a little bit, but still, it wasn't very deep in detail. What she said next really creeped me out, though. So she's looking at this 
and she says that it also branches off a lot. I have lines in every which every direction on my poem. And she said, you are very active, aren't you? You work a lot. So I said, okay, yes, yep, yep. And I told her about my job a little bit because she asked. And I was like, okay, nothing fancy here. No, and like, ooh. But then she asks, did you go to college? Are you going to college? And here I am like, okay, look at me. I mean, a younger adult, like, ooh, lucky guess. Not everyone goes to college, but still, I could guess that. So I'm thinking this. But as she's talking to me, she's like, I think you're going to college for more than one thing, though. And she says the first one is very sophisticated, very rare. Not a lot of people go into this field. It's very difficult. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's kind of talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, lots of people think their fields are difficult. So I'm just like, yeah, you know, aerospace engineer, that's... That's what I'm going into. Like, no big deal. You're not surprising me anymore. I don't believe in this stuff. And she was like, okay, yes, yes, that makes sense. This next part is what gives me the chills. My hair is standing up right now. She looks and she's re talking about how all the lines continue on different directions again. And she says that. You are a very strong leader. You are going to go through many different points in your life. And you're going to go and take many different paths. And then she flat out says, Your second major is entrepreneurship, is it? isn't it? Oh my god. I freaked. I literally, I jumped back and was like, <laughs> my hair is standing up right now. I'm getting the chills. So she's creeping me out with all this other stuff. And then the flat out say like entrepreneurship is one of like my second major. Like I have not talked about college, my travels, my photography. Like I have not talked to her about myself in any way shape or form and she just spits this out like entrepreneurship too like I don't even see that as really like a degree like I'm brushing it off like oh entrepreneurship like that's that's not even a, de a business degree that's just a branch off of a business degree like if I told you I was going for a business degree, entrepreneurship would probably be the last degree that you even would think of. So for her to not know any of this and the flat out say entrepreneurship, like, oh, just chills, freaking chills. Okay, so she's got that. She's got she's got the college. She's got my friend. And then she looks at the poem on my hand and she says, okay, you're going to be married by 27. And then she pauses and she's like, how old are you? And I was like, ha ha, gotcha. And I was like, 22. And she's like, okay, well, it's interesting because I want to say that you have never dated or you have dated very little in your life. Which, anyone who knows me, when it comes to that stuff, I'm like, waste of time. I don't do that. Like, I haven't dated. That is waste of my time. I got better things to do. So, the fact that she was talking about that, it was like, okay, you're kind of creeping me out again. And she's like, but yes, married by 27, and you're going to have two kids, a boy and a girl, close in age. And I'm like, okay, okay. What creeped me out later on when I'm telling this story to my sister is at her graduation party, my aunt was teasing me about like, hey, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have a kid? You're next up in line in the family. Like, you're the next one. Your dad had you at your age, blah, blah, blah. So come on, what, what's happening? And I looked at my uncle 
because he was the most recent to get married and the most recent to have kids. And I said, well, when did he get married? When did he have kids? He thought about it for a second and he said, 26, 27. So I was like, okay, I just have to get past 27 years old. And he got married and had two kids close in age to each other around the time he was 26, 27. So at that graduation party, I was talking about, okay, I just have to last past 27. So that realizing that later on really creeped me out as well. Um, like, I don't even, I'm trying to still understand and figure out like how she knew these certain things because some of it like do you go to college very easy guess but hey you're majoring in entrepreneurship aren't you how like i i'm sitting here i have no explanation for it i am still baffled but it was just an, a crazy experience and I had to share it with all of you. So, um, gotta say to my thoughts go out to everybody. I, everybody I met down in new Orleans, um, the hurricane that passed through really did a lot of damage. Um, hearing about everything and seeing a lot of the photos, thinking that just a couple days ago I was there. Um, that's something else I can't um, wrap my mind around. So my thoughts go out to all of you and um, yeah, just stay safe, everybody. That, that storm was definitely an extreme one. So um, thoughts go out to them and if you guys like this video um please don't forget to like and subscribe i am going to be posting a video every sunday around three four o'clock central time so keep your eyes out for those and i'll see you guys on the next adventure